Captain Obvious Stevie Clark is pointing out what we already know, and that is that we are not too good at friendlies. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. Steve Clark has spoken in the post-match press conference after a 1-0 defeat to Northern Ireland, which honestly felt like 5-0 on the night. Not because Northern Ireland were so good, but because we were so bad. After that performance, it doesn't feel like we lost 1-0. It feels like we've been absolutely annihilated. And it's an aggregate scoreline of 5-0, funnily enough, over the two games against Northern Ireland and the Netherlands. But uh, Steve Clark was a little bit upbeat in the post-match uh, interview, the press conference. He was actually looking forward to the Euros, saying that we will win when it matters. We will be ready when the games are important, when the games effectively count. And that, of course, is competition games that is qualifying games because Steve Clark admitted that we are not very good at friendlies now what does Steve Clark mean by that well well he have a look at what he said in a minute but this is Scotland's results in their last 19 friendlies out of the last 19 they've only won two which is shocking there's no doubt about that two wins out of 19 friendlies is unforgivable that is like lower that's like San Mar not San Marino because they can't win but you're talking that sort of level you know that is kind of like Moldova sort of level Fer Faroe Islands sort of level 2 and 19 is pish there's no there's no pretending that it's not there's no change in the narrative here 2 and 19 is no good enough however Scotland in their last 21 qualifiers have won 15 out of 21 which is really good very good, in fact, almost 75%. So in Scotland's last 21 qualifiers, they are just under 75% when it comes to wins. But in their last 19 friendlies, they've only won two, which is just over 10%. So, I mean, how can there be that much of a difference? I get it. Some teams can be more up for the qualifiers. Maybe some teams experiment more with the friendlies and they're not focusing on the results as much as the performances but still I do not understand why it's so different when it comes to the friendlies now do Scotland perhaps play tougher friendlies do we arrange the harder friendlies I mean that could be one contribution to it with the qualifiers maybe you're guaranteed to be playing a couple of the lesser nations so I mean that is possible but still there, there, there is a problem there and I think Steve Clark needs to address it but this is what he had to say after the match regarding the defeat to Northern Ireland. He says, quote, I'm not counting. We want to be ready in June and that will be the most important thing. We had a lot of the game and tried our best to open them up. It was difficult to find space between the lines. It was a totally different type of game to what we've recently had when we played against top teams. They will just open the pitch and you saw that on Friday night when we managed to create a number of really good chances. Tonight, when we needed a little bit of craft and guile in the final third of the pitch, we couldn't find that. That's basically why we lost the game. We had more than the lion's share of possession and 14 shots, but not one good enough to go in the back of the net. It's fair to say we're not very good at friendlies. We don't win too many of them. So let's just hope that when it comes to the competitive stuff in June, we are ready to go. And I'm sure we will be end of quote so Steve Clark admitting that we're not good at friendlies admitting that we don't win many of them but he thinks and he believes when it comes to the important games the games that we need to win the competitive games the European group games he thinks we will be ready to do just that he also spoke about uh, Lewis Ferguson he says quote he got in the box a few times and made a few good runs end of quote so I mean <laughs> it's nice for him to acknowledge that Lewis Ferguson did okay, but I mean, why not start him from the beginning? It's a friendly game after all. Why not give Lewis Ferguson the full 90 minutes? He also spoke about uh, Liam Cooper. He spoke about Nathan Patterson. Uh, Nathan Patterson didn't have his best game. Steve Clark says that Liam Cooper was pretty good tonight. I mean, I think he's going to say that because he made the change. I didn't necessarily think Liam Cooper was you know, anything above average, to be honest. So, it is what it is, but Steve Clark ended the thing with saying quote I will go away assess both games and the biggest thing for us is to be ready for June 
I was a little bit late for this press conference and I'd rather be sitting here in my position than, unfortunately, Wales, who just got knocked out on penalty kicks. So it's not all doom and gloom, end of quote. So Steve Clark there taking a wee dig at Wales, and maybe not intentionally there, but basically saying, look, we might be shite, we might have lost two friendlies in a row, but at least we're going to the Euros, unlike Wales, who aren't going to the Euros, because I think it was Dan James that missed the fifth penalty. So, yeah, unfortunate for him. But, yeah, nah, Steve Clark, man, he needs to fix this. Look, we've got two more friendlies before the Euros. I don't care if they're only friendlies. I don't care if they don't count towards uh, competitive games. We need to get some momentum going before we get into the Euros. We need to win these next two games. I think one of them is against Finland. Is the other one maybe Romania? Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I've plucked that out of nowhere. But I think one's definitely Finland. And we need to see improvements. Not only on the pitch, but also results. So, yeah, it's been a very, very bad international break here. Recently, over the past few years, international breaks have been good. They've been welcomed because Scotland have been playing pretty good stuff. But these two games, well, the Netherlands game we played all right, but the non-Ant game, man, we were so bad. I don't even want to think about it. So, yeah, Steve Clark thinks when it matters, we will be there. Hopefully, he is right. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think down below. Defeats to both Netherlands and Northern Ireland. Not looking good, but uh, we've still got time to fix this. Hopefully we can get some wins on the board before the Euros. And I still think we have a very doable group. We should be looking to qualify for that, but we will need to play better than we have recently. That's it, guys. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.